it's yeah. right now. Oh my gosh, yes. And I saw your video last night. It was so awesome. Will you tell people about it who haven't had a chance to see it yet? Oh my gosh. So I was, I was, uh, well, I was asked by Meta, which is the company that owns Instagram and Facebook that we're on to, um, to choose a charity for Giving Tuesday. And so I chose Broadway Cares, who I've supported for a long time. And I was trying to think, because they said, make a fun video. So this was the concept. I was like, make a fun video. Okay, it could be anything. So I was like, you know, I love Broadway Bears, but obviously, like, I'm not going to do Broadway Bears. So I was like, what's funny? It's, it's the winter time. And let's see if people could dance sexy with winter clothes on. And I, you know, it was kind of a fun idea. And I figured it was cool that, you know, Meadow was giving me the chance to choose whichever charity I wanted. And so I picked Broadway Cares. And so here we are. That's so awesome. It's such a fun video. It's such a fun idea. I mean, we always appreciate so much when people use their creativity to help support um, our organization. And so you doing that just means a lot to us. And it is super fun um, to watch people try to dance sexy. In their <laughs> winter clothes. We have Sam Polly from Six, who is very sexy in Six. I don't know if it, not to spoil anything, but she probably plays the, the wife who's known to be the sexiest in the in the story of King Henry VIII and his six wives. Uh, and so it was fun to get Sam to be, you know, sexy wearing a big coat and a hat. Very much all of these actors in their New York City attire, like just the big puffy coats. So it I, was, I mean... And the thing is too, I, we, we only had like one evening to shoot it. And so I just like really ran from stage door to stage door to kind of make it all happen, which was really fun. I felt like I was Kristen Chenoweth. <laughs> yes, it's like, it does, it definitely has like, Kristen Chenoweth, like Billy on the street, but nice vibes, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, everyone is so game to play. And I think, you know, there's so many charities to choose from today. And so I'm, I'm just honored to be supporting, uh, you know, my community. And, you know, I was hearing you talking about a lot about the meals, but I think especially, you know, we're coming up, you know, on World AIDS Day, which is tomorrow. Yeah. And there's still so much left to be done, not just with this pandemic, but ensuring that the previous pandemic, the lessons we learned are not forgotten. Um, and I'm, I'm so actually excited to relive the amazing uh, World AIDS Day benefit that Broadway Cares put together, which I was so lucky to be in the audience for. It's like amazing. It, does it go, it goes live tomorrow? People can watch yeah, it? Uh, remember the ribbon. It goes live on playbill.com tomorrow for three days people can watch it. It was really cool. I mean, I, I didn't know how much I was gonna cry. <laughs> but I cried a lot. I mean, you know, hearing Al Nankin talking about Howard Ashman, you know, hearing, of course, the amazing Judith Light who supported this organization for so long, talking about her experience, you know, hearing Cheetah Rivera, um, you know, hearing my, my friend Hernando, who I've known for a long time, hearing them sing as well, which is amazing. Um, I think it was, it was an amazing concert. I can't wait for everyone to see it because it was just so beautiful. Um, and so I'm so excited for people to like experience that moment from World AIDS Day, which was very cool. I think we, I think one of the things that you're talking about is just like the gift of being in live spaces together mm -hmm. too, right? Like, remember the ribbon, the, the Sondheim tribute that happened in Times Square. It just seems like now that we're all getting a chance to sort of be together, it is, it, those are emotional experiences. So right. your tears make sense, Jack. <laughs> well, and you know, and I think, you know, for people who are joining us in the chat, who don't know what Broadway Cares is, to give you guys a little update, Broadway Cares has been around since the huge AIDS epidemic really decimated the Broadway community and beyond and has gone on since. I mean, there are main, many things that Broadway Cares now supports in addition to those still living with HIV and AIDS and battling it, but just the entire community, the, you know, the entire live performance community, which was decimated um, during the pandemic and, you know, is still recovering um, in huge ways and beyond. I know there's some women's initiatives that Broadway Cares is a huge part of um, and helping those who, you know, don't have food, access to food, etc. I think there's so many amazing causes that Broadway Cares works with. And you can find more by clicking on the link in the bio of the profile above. Um, and I also put a link to my Giving Tuesday page uh, on my Instagram bio. Um, and then you can also go to this link right here to click. Uh, you can't click on it, but if you, you just write it in your browser. <laughs> if they click on our, um, uh, if, if, you click, if you go to BCFA's profile, then uh, it will come up right at the top of the profile page, the fundraiser. And I think what's gonna be uh, uh, hopefully 
hopefully Broadway Cares can kind of lead us through this next phase of the pandemic since, you know, Broadway Cares has dealt with this exact experience before with another community with that. Well, still with our community. I think what's, what's crazy about COVID is that it affects so many more people than HIV and AIDS did. But I think the lessons that we learned in our community dealing with HIV and AIDS, I think apply here as well, which is, you know, getting access to food, getting access to medicine, getting access to vaccines, I think are something that I know are still so important. And hopefully history won't repeat itself this time. Um, but I'm just so excited and honored to be here. Um, and I want to... Uh, um, do you do you want a job here? You're so good at you're go so good at talking about our organization. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'm, you know what? I promise you. I promise I'll keep supporting. And you know, you let me know when the next thing is you want me to come to. I'll come and show up with uh, bells or bonnets on, whatever the case may be. Uh, there's so many amazing events too that Broadway Cares puts on in the city, and I think almost all of them now you can watch online. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. We've done a lot of them online during the pandemic, and we're just about to announce our first big live in person event, um, the return of Broadway backwards. We're going to announce the date and location next week. So oh my God, and that not only is such a fantastic, um, you know, night at the theater and a great fundraiser, but it is a celebration of LGBTQ stories on stage. So really seeing the, the spectrum of queer stories told through musical theater. It's a really fun night. And we're just excited. What we're talking about as we're planning it is exactly what you were talking about with Remember the Ribbon is just being back in a space and sort of communing with like storytelling together. I think it's going to be really remarkable. And, you know, for those for those who don't know, you know, right now in New York City, the whole Broadway community um, is pretty strict about COVID regulations. For those who are wondering, to be in a Broadway theater, you have to have been fully vaccinated and you must wear your mask the entire time during the performance. And the actors are also getting tested regularly, as well as the stage team uh, as well. So, you know, we're doing our best with this pandemic. I know there's a lot of new fears around Omicron. You know, the U.S. just updated their guidance that everyone should get a booster. So if you are able to, wherever you live, to get a booster, go out and do it. Because I want to be able to enjoy live theater, to be in the same room as those um, and feel safe doing so. And I know that's something that you want as well. So we're going to do our best to make these events happen, make them happen safely. Um, and again, testing is still so important. Um, getting vaccinated, getting boosted if you're able to is still so important. Um, someone asked, how do I get all that makeup off with face wipes? I'm sure you ran across it. <laughs> um, one thing that we've sort of realized is that Broadway is back, but Broadway Cares is not back in the way that we usually are. Usually at this time, we would, if you went to see a Broadway show or a national yeah. tour, you would hear the cast afterwards and they, they would say, thank you for coming. And if you can donate into one of these red buckets. But we don't have those red buckets out right now. We're not doing those same kind of, um, that same kind of fundraising because it, we're safety in mind. We don't want right. to- Right, and, and the know. actors, the actors really are, you know, singing is such a, um, uh, a potentially big transmitter of COVID, especially indoors. And I know that the actors are all, you know, most of them are not doing stage door greetings because, you know, most of them, I, I, I will text my Broadway friends and be like, nope, not doing anything because I have to make to protect my cast. So I think that, you know, because the Broadway community is so, you know, the actors are very close in close physical proximity and within breathing distance of each other all the time. I know that most of them are not engaging in a lot in social activities and certainly, you know, collecting money from an audience can be a little tricky. So to that yeah. point, like today's the day. If you today's gonna, the day if you're planning to see a theatrical show on Broadway or not in the next year, you would have been giving a 20 out of your pocket anyway. So just click on this link or click the link in my stories or click the link in Broadway Care Stories um, and donate right now. How easy is that? Awesome. <laughs> Jackie, you've got the job. You're hired. I'm hired. I'll, well, I'm coming at Broadway backwards. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll go not in drag. Well, I don't, I don't go in drag to a lot of events. Maybe I'll find a, some kind of new drag to go into. Uh, I'll think of something backwards for me, um, which will be so exciting. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait. Awesome. Thank Thank you for taking the time today. And thank you for your beautiful video. Really, everything means a lot to us. Thank you. Mwah, happy Giving Tuesday. Mwah. Happy Giving Tuesday. Bye. Right, that was Jackie Cox. Oh.